So under my player controller, I have just a quick little flow macro that sets up a trigger to uh, make sure that the animator that I put on my camera, so I put a little animator right here, and I set up a little animation on my camera. Oops. Whenever I click on camera, you see the little animation. And what it is, is it's just like a little, little screen shake that it changes the position just a little bit. Um, and I also set it up on my flow graph, so whenever my player collides with the ground, it not only instantiates some dust particles that I have set up, but I actually get a little screen shake whenever he hits the ground. And um, so let me just kind of play this back for you. So whenever he hits the ground, um, he, it actually uh, does a little screen shake. So anytime it triggers with the ground, it sends it off in the animation to let it know that you need to switch and then go back. Now you can use this setup if you like. It's cheap, it's easy, but it's also kind of dirty. It doesn't give you as much capability as something like Cinemachine does. Now, there is a downside on that. I'm not a programmer. I tried to make a graph uh, and failed on trying to implement Cinemachine in with Bolt. And like I said, I failed miserably. So maybe somebody else in our Bolt community, somebody that's a lot more capable than myself, could make a graph for the rest of us that we could enjoy. For now, I want to show you how to set this up in your game using a script that actually I got from Code Monkey's video, and I'll put the link in the description below. In order to set up Cinemachine to work with Bolt, first of all, we have to have Cinemachine installed. So going to our package manager, and it should be on your list of all your packages. You should see Cinemachine. If not, you might have to go get that from the asset store, but it is free. Just install that into your Unity uh, game, and once it's done, we're going to need to upload that to run with Bolt. So once that's installed, we're going to go up to our tools, and we're going to go to Bolt, and we're going to go to Unit Options Wizard, and scrolling down here, we're going to install this uh, Cinema Machine right here, and then we're going to hit Next, and then we're going to hit generate and what this is going to do is this is going to make it to where we can pull Cinemachine objects into our graphs so once this is finished installing we'll continue I wasn't able to find anything on how to use Cinemachine with Bolt but it's actually pretty simple if you have the right script and know how to use it let me say that I am almost completely inept when it comes to C Sharp which is why I love Bolt so much because I can understand how a function works anyway after watching Code Monkey Cinemachine video I was able to get this script. Now, I want to brag on myself for just a second if you'll allow it. I am, like I said, I'm not really great with C Sharp. And um, I know there's probably hundreds of great programmers that know how to do what I'm about to show you, but I managed to figure that out by myself. It was one of those super proud moments that I had that um, my fifth grade self would have been disappointed if, if he knew that this is what excites me in this stage of my life. But let me show you how to set this up using Bolt. So in order to be able to use this script in Bolt, I'm going to have to put it inside of my Bolt Unit Options Wizard. So I'm going to this, scroll all the way down, go to Next, and we're going to have to put it right here. So uh, just add this in, and we're going to do Cinemachine, or whatever your script is named. Cinemachine Shake. Grab that and hit Generate, and we're going to let that rebuild its database. Okay, once we have this script put into our Bolt database, we're going to have to go up to Cinemachine and tell it to create a virtual camera. That's going to put a brain on our main camera here. And then our virtual camera, we're also going to need to add Cinemachine shape to. So it's going to put it right there. Now, how do we call that whenever we're in Bolt? Okay, one more thing we need to do on this. We need to add a noise. We're going to add a basic multi-channel Perlin. We're going to go to 60 shake, and then we're going to try to call that whenever we hit the ground. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to our hit platform macro that we have set up. And after it instantiates the dust particles whenever it hits the ground, we also want it to shake the camera. And so the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to Cinemachine, shake. We're going to scroll down to where we find that intensity and time. We're going to put that right here. And then we're going to instantiate or get the instance. So instance, instance, get. And now we can mess with the intensity. So I'm going to change mine to one second. 
for 0.1 time and hopefully now whenever we hit the ground we should get a little camera shake for 0.1 seconds yep there you go so you can actually mess with the intensity from right here and now it's time to get really sick oh my god please stop it okay now you should have cinema machine set up in bolt and can easily shake things up hopefully this video was helpful for you however now that we've got our screen shake maybe what we need is some sound with our player in our environment using bolt if only somebody had a video on how to do that